I'll never forget the chilling encounter I had with demons. It was a night that left me scarred, and I can still feel the fear that gripped me. It all happened in a small, quiet town called Willowbrook. Nestled in a dense forest, it was a place known for its tranquility. But one fateful night, that peace was shattered, and I was drawn into a real-life horror story. It started when my curiosity got the best of me. Willowbrook had an eerie legend, a house at the forest's edge, abandoned and cursed, haunted by demons that only emerged after dark. I couldn't resist the temptation to investigate. As the sun set, my flashlight in hand, I made my way to the abandoned house. My heart pounded in my chest as I approached. The front door creaked open with a spine-chilling sound, and I stepped inside. The air was heavy and oppressive, making it hard to breathe. My flashlight revealed a scene of decay, decrepit furniture, cobwebs, and peeling wallpaper. I couldn't help but notice a twisted, demonic figure etched into the wallpaper, its eyes seemingly following my every move. The room grew colder, and faint whispers echoed around me, sending shivers down my spine. Fear gnawed at me, but I couldn't turn back now. I had to know what lay in the depths of this forsaken place. Venturing deeper, I heard the others, Tim and Sarah, but they seemed so far away. As I reached the basement door, an icy gust of wind blew through the hallway, and the door slammed shut behind me, leaving me alone in the darkness. In the basement, I stumbled upon a cryptic journal. Its pages were filled with strange symbols and writings about ancient rituals. As I flipped through them, the air grew even colder, and I heard guttural voices, inhuman and sinister, echoing around me. Shadows began to swirl, forming nightmarish shapes that seemed to reach out for me. Panic set in, and I desperately tried to open the basement door, my hands trembling with fear. I could hear Tim and Sarah on the other side, their voices filled with dread, but the door wouldn't budge. It was as if the house itself had turned against me, trapping me in a nightmare. The demonic voices grew louder and the shadows closed in. I was alone, trapped in a real-life horror story with no way out. 